Yeah, I, I totally understand. We lose to Charlotte, I get the sack. I know it's not an ideal situation, but I mean, the players just aren't performing, are they? Yeah, I suppose I do have to shoulder a lot of the blame as well. But I mean, let's just see what we can do. If we beat Charlotte, great, we can turn the season around. Beckham, you... Mr. Beckham, you have to have a little bit of faith in me. Come on. Hi, folks. Welcome to part 12 of Make Miami Great here on Football Manager 24. Doesn't feel like we're making Miami great at the moment. As I said in the intro, Mr. Beckham's going to sack me if we do not beat Charlotte. So we're just going to go game after game at the moment, see what happens. We play Charlotte, potentially play Portland if we get through this game. And since you guys were last with us then, just the one game, 3-1 winners over Nashville. We were knocked out of the uh, US Open Cup in the fifth round. We lost 1-0 there. We drew with Columbus, lost to uh, Sporting uh, Kansas City, and then lost to Orlando City. I thought Orlando City was going to be the day that we lost our job. But no, we've got through to this point, and we've had... Where is it to? It's there. This message here. Uh, Inter Miami FCF hierarchy appeared to be finally losing patience with me. And uh, yeah, we get a bad result here. I could get the sack. We have a look at the club vision. They're a D. And the supporters are a C. So we're looking okay there. I just... I, I don't see us keeping our job come the end of this match. But we'll, we'll see what we can do. Transfer-wise, I made another little bit of a boo-boo. So we brought in this guy here, Thomas Amang. And then because we couldn't register him, went on the waiver list. And now New York City's got him. So I'm a little bit disappointed. That could have been a good striker, winger for us. I mean, he's very, very quick on the physical side of it. Technical, not so great. But I think it's what we needed. We've also turned down a deal for uh, Van Brederode type. Tigres wanted to take him on loan for eight months. I've said no because we need him. This guy wanted to bring him in. But again, designated players couldn't get him. We've got these two joining us. But I don't know. I mean, they're free transfers. I don't know if I'm going to be able to register him. So again, they might leave the club. But... I'm not going to worry about that for now. I need to worry about the Charlotte game. Team we're putting out there to um, get a win, I guess. That's all we can ask for. It is Grief and Goal, a back four of Alba, Panta, Aviles, and Griesel. Redondo in the deep line playmaker role. Kremeschi just in front of him. Van Brederod, Farias, and Ariola supporting Borgelin up front. Go out there and just do your stuff, boys. That's all I can ask you to do now. You're turning against me because we can't get the results. I want to mark in performance. That's what we're going to say to the boys there. We need it. We need something to go our way. And I'm hoping it is going to be this game. Charlotte are top of the table though. So, I mean, that they are stacking the deck against me. Telling me that I'm going to get the sack if we don't beat the top team. But we need to perform. We're doing better at the moment. 15 minutes into the game. We have registered three shots. None of those on target. And the XG is dreadful as well. Free kick to Charlotte. They put the ball into the box. Got it clear, sort of. They run out to his right-hand side. Put it across. Panther hacks it clear. Van Brederos picked it up. Charges in. Got men all around him. He's gone back into Redondo. Now we're trying to get our shape back. Kremeschi running up through the line. Had to go back for now. Griezel's picked it up. In through the centre, Redondo up to Farias. Again, Farias hasn't performed. Van brederode has got this one. Eluding absolutely everybody. And there we go. It's in the box. Farias, we've got a penalty. Or at least I think we've got a penalty. Or was it outside the box? Very, very tight. Very, very close. What is VAR saying? We've got a penalty. It's a lifeline here. Stepping up to take this one. Number 14, Van Brederode. And he scores as a lifeline for us. Miami 1, Charlotte nil. If we keep it like this, then my job is safer today. But, you know, things can change, can't they? He's a throw in now for Charlotte. Heading that one down. Pushing it forward. Redondo's picked it up. Picked up the loose ball. Goes out to his left-hand side. He's on the line. Goes back into Panto. Hacks that forward into Borgelin. The flag has gone up. I think he was offside. He's not gone for the ball to put it on the centre spot. Are the arms going up? They're not disallowed. It's not 2-0. It's still 1-0. But that's our route forward. If we can put more balls in like that, we'll get the get the ball in the back of the net and we'll score. Have to defend this, though. Charlotte at the byline. Put it across. And get one back. Oh, no. 
Just as we've had one ruled off, Charlotte put it in the back of the net. 1-1. One, one. And is this, is this ceiling off eight? Is this going to be them doing what they've done all season, keeping themselves at the top of the table and just putting the ball in the back of the net and turning teams over? I'm hoping it's not. I'm hoping we can stay at least 1-1 one, one and we can get through to the Portland game. Half time here, 1-1. One, one. Um, do, 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 do. I'll say, say that to them. I'm happy with everyone except Borgelin up front, so I might change his role. We can stick him on a poacher. Drops him back a little bit more so we can sit on the last defender and see if he can create something for himself. Him and Farias, hopefully being nuisances. Redondo's got this ball, plays it out to the left hand side. Abada comes in and wins it. I mean, it's Jordi Alba just wanting it on his feet. And he's not playing for Barcelona, so he hasn't got the, you know, the, the magic players doing that for him. We need to get the ball, boys. Come on. Oh, they've got space on this left-hand side. And they've got men over. They've got five men to the right. Oh, oh no. And he just does that. Makes us look absolutely silly. Miami 1, Charlotte 2. All that hard work we've done to get ourselves in the lead. I guess it was a penalty. It's just undone. Let's make some substitutions after we've had this throw in. Ariola with the ball. Puts it to the edge of the box. Jordi Alba. Puts it over the bar. Good effort. Just couldn't keep the shot down. Changes for us then. We are going to bring on Zapella for Borgelin. Swap with Farias. Left hand side we need to make a change there. So Ariola is going to come over. Valencia can play there. And then the last change will be at the back. We bring on Tyler Hall for Aviles. There we go. Three substitutions. Is it enough? Can hope, can't we? That's all we can do at the moment. Just hope that we can get ourselves back into it. I'm gonna I'm gonna encourage the boys. Dare them to to dream and push the ball forward and see what we can do. It's a big lump forward from the Charlotte goalkeeper there. Winger heads it on. Panthers come in to win the ball. Oh, I thought he'd given it away then. He's gone back to grief. He's gone giving it back to Panther. Redondo's lost it. And three oh, one, no. to Charlotte. We, yeah, we... Masters of our own downfall there. Absolutely the masters of our own downfall. I'm not going to make any substitutions. I don't think we can get back into it. We've got to take our medicine. I've got to take my medicine. We're getting the sack now. Ball towards that back post. Grief's done well to hold on to it. And it's not as if... I say it's not as if it's the same different team from last time. It is a different team from last time, isn't it? We've lost key players. What the hell was that? That was the worst shot I think I've ever seen in Football Manager. Absolutely awful. We've got five minutes of time added on. And then we can see our fate. Are we getting the sack? Or are we going to live to hopefully survive it at the Pan uh, the Portland game? Let's see. I think we're getting the sack. Uh, Van Brederoo's injured. You want, why do you want an improved deal? You're not performing. Um, I'm just going to go with that from then. Albers wants to chat about this. Um... Why was I a bit harsh? I wasn't. I'll say that to him. Go away. Go away and leave me alone. We need to find out what's going on. We're down to E here. And a C- minus with the supporters. Are we getting the sack? That's what I want to know. They're unhappy with what? how I spoke to Jordi Alba. But we didn't perform, so what can we do? Um, I say that to him. I'm going to lose the team here. I think we're going to survive to the Portland game, and I think that's going to be the last one, I think. If anything happens, I'll let you guys know. We'll come back for that. But if not, we're going to be back for the Portland game. So we've been given the Portland game, but I, I, if we don't get a result here, we're definitely going to be out because uh, we've got the dressing room against us now. Jordi Alba wasn't happy with how we spoke to them before, as you've seen. 
And now the dressing room and every other player is gone. Oh, we don't like how you've treated Jordi Alba. But I had to say things that we needed to say to the players. But yeah, probably going to get the sack after this game. So the team we're putting out there for the match against Portland is Grief and Goal, back four of Alba, Hall, Aviles and Smarf, Redondo and Kromeshki in these midfield positions, as Connor, Zapelli and Ariola supporting Farias up front. Let's submit this. Let's get the boys out there. We're in Portland. Let's just get a result because that's, that's all we can do. And I, I mean, if it is going to be my last game, go out there with a bang. Lose, but convincingly lose and yeah. See what happens after that. And the first highlight is Portland straight from the kickoff. On this right-hand side. Looking dangerous. Going back to their goalkeeper. They're looking lively and up for this one. We're chasing shadows already. Quick passing. Very, very quick passing. They've run the line. Look at that trickery already. Trickery already. They've gone back to their defenders. Oh, we've, seen it. we've nicked in here. As Connor's got the ball. Can we get an early goal? Zapelli. Oh, we do get an early goal. Bruno Zapelli puts it in that top corner. Portland nil, Miami won. Keep it like that, boys. I say we started sluggish. We were just waiting for the opportunity, weren't we? Waiting for the opportunity to get the ball. As Connor goes back to Jordi Alba. Back into As Connor. He created everything. Oh, and he's just uh, yeah, giving it away. Although Portland are giving it away now. Vilas picks up the loose ball. And here they come. Counter attack. Men over on the right, Jordi Alvarez as well to nick in the ball. Nick nick in then to get the ball. Gone back to grief. Where are we going with this one? We're going to haul on this left-hand side with Jordi Alvarez. This is where the goal came from last time. Redondo with the ball. What's he going to do with it? Into Areola. Farias is there. How has he not scored there? All he had to do was dink it over the goalkeeper. He didn't. He tried something tricky and put it past the post. We should be 2 0 up. Should be 2 0 up and we're not. It's still 1 0. Portland offering nothing at the moment. Swapping their midfielders around. Is this going to keep us in the job? Just this, just this 1 0 win as it is at the moment. As we get the ball out to his left hand side, as Connor to Redondo. Oh, good save from their keeper there. Absolutely brilliant save. I don't know why our player was putting the arms up there. It was obviously going to be a corner for us. In it comes. A Filus heads over the ball. The heads over the bar, sorry, not the, the ball. He headed the ball over the bar. It's back with Portland now. They've gone all the way back to their goalkeeper. They've got a little bit of space through the centre of the pitch. Trying to find their man. They do. It's, I mean, it's come off our defender. Into the box they go. Oh, oh no. can't stop that. That's a beautiful goal. You cannot stop shots like that. Grief did well diving, but it, it had so much bend on it. Bent inside the post. Portland won, Miami won. And this is what happened with Charlotte, wasn't it? They got themselves back into it, and then we collapsed. And I'm hoping we don't do it here. Redondo puts the ball into the box. They've got it. Goal scorer Nathan's with it. They're playing themselves out of trouble at the moment. We're just not putting any pressure on. No pressure whatsoever. We're letting them pick the pass. We've let them turn as well. We've let them turn and we're not putting any challenges in. We've won the ball here. We've I nicked it from a poor poor bit of possession from Portland. Uh, Farias has done the same. He's missed again. He should have scored two goals in this game and he's not done it. He's got to come off at half time. Has to come off. He's awful. Absolutely awful. And a corner put in. We're limply heading it towards the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper easily picks it up. And I oh, don't say they're going to score. Please don't say they're going to score at the end of this. Me <laughs> too. Is there an offside? Acrobatic overhead kick from their midfielder. Their arms go up, they have scored, he was onside. Took oh, a deflection, no. goes in, Portland 2, Miami 1, half time is here. Oh, we are sacked. We are sacked. Um, I don't have another striker. I, I Morales is going to have to come on. I think we have to play with two shadow strikers. Go with this. 
if we score three goals, two goals here, lovely stuff. If we don't, we're sacked. We put the ball in the box then. Jordi Alba's picked it up. Left-hand side, he's at the byline. Into the box. Gone back to Jordi Alba. This hit our player and they've got it clear. They've got it up to... Uh, they've got it clear again. We're in their half. We're sort of camped out in their half at the moment. But... We're not offering anything towards the goal. We've gone through absolutely everybody as well. Sapelli Zappelli... hits the goalkeeper. We've got a corner. Frustrated. I'm really frustrated with this team at the moment. In comes the corner. It's looping long. And they've got it clear. Ariola chased it down. I think the highlight's going to end. I th it's not at the moment. We've still got it. Something's going to happen here. Something has to happen. Hopefully it's for us. Hopefully it's an equaliser and gets us back into the game. Out on this right hand side. Put a cross in. He doesn't. He feeds it into Ariola. Now he's in the box. Oh, yes, we've got one. 2 2. Lovely stuff. I'm going to praise him because that was, that was good. That was a nicely worked goal for us there. Just all that passing. Maybe we don't need a striker. Maybe that's the problem. If we go with two shadow strikers, is that our way forward? If we survive this game, I'm going to have to trial it for the next one. Hopefully, we can win this one and there's a little bit of pressure off us. Kromeski with the ball. Ariola has a shot and yes, 3-2. Come on, goalkeeper should have done a lot better with that. I think it took a deflection off his hand to go into the back of the net, but Ariola's been dreadful every game he's played. Come up with the goods at the moment, he's got us a goal. Smart's having a bad game, so we're going to take him off now. Uh, who can play right back? Boatwright can go there. 25 minutes, or just under 25 minutes now to save my job here. 3-2 up. Don't let Portland back in. That's all I can say now. Do not let them back in. I, in fact, I'm going to drop down to balance mentality because I don't want to go too attacking and let them back in. Attempt, we've just headed over the bar there. Oh, nervy. Itchy bum time, scratchy bum time, squeaky bum time, whatever it's called. If we can win this game, it's... A step in the right direction. What are you doing, Boatwright? Just throw it. Just throw the ball. There we go. Kromeski into Ariola. Zapelli. Good save from the keeper. Oh, no, it's not. They've got a goal, key, got a goal kick. I thought he got his hand to it then. Are we surviving? I think we are. Five minutes of time added on. Is this the victory? That saves the job. Saves the save. We. Oh, I thought we gave away a free kick then. Jordi Alba pushes it forward. Zapelli. Morellis beats his man, but can't put it in the back of the net. Cannot put it in the back of the net. And that's full time. Vital three points for us there. Oh, keeps us in the job for now. For now. But I still think we're going to get the sack. I mean, we just need to lose one game. We lose one game and that's it. We're done. Right then. I'm not going to look at the table. There's no point. We're near the bottom. We're going to come back for whenever the board decide they've had enough of me. If we start picking up games, that's great. We'll come back for Vancouver and DC. No, we won't because that's a lot of time in there. And then you'd have the League Cup. So we'll, come, we'll probably come back for the League Cup if we're not going to get the sack. If we're going to get the sack, obviously we'll come back and let you guys know them. But five or three points there against Portland. Hopefully we can pick up a few more. If you guys enjoyed that, big thumbs up on the video for me. Subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't already done so. And as always, folks, thank you very much for watching.